Did you know over 5 million people uses Jupyter Notebook every month? It's trusted by data scientists at NASA, researchers at MIT, and top companies like Google and IBM. Whether you are exploring artificial intelligence, analyzing data, or just learning Python, you are going to use Jupyter Notebook. And in this video, I'll guide you step by step on how to install Jupyter Notebook on your computer. And by the end of the video, you will be able to open it and start writing your very first line of Python code. And not only that, I'm going to give you some of the very most and useful information about Anaconda and Jupyter. So without wasting time, let's get started. Basically, there are two common ways to install Jupyter Notebook. The first and the easiest is by using Anaconda. It's all in one toolkit and it's perfect for the beginners. The second method is through pip or pip. It is the official Python package installer. This method is great if you already have Python set up at your system. Here in this video, we are going to use method one using Anaconda. So everyone is ready. Let's begin with method number one, installing Jupyter Notebook using Anaconda. Basically, Anaconda is a software bundle that includes Python, Jupyter Notebook, and many other useful tools. So simply, it's the best option for the beginners. Now, let's open your browser and write Anaconda. Go to the official website anaconda.com and this is the one. Now this is the full website of this. But we supposed to go at free downloads. Here in free downloads, you don't need to go for this registration process. You can just skip registration process and then you will be forwarded to download now page. Now here you have two options, distribution installer and miniconda installer. We are going to install a distribution installer. Here you have three options. You can download it for Windows. If you are using Mac, then these are the versions for Mac. And if you are using Linux, then you can download it using this link. So as we are using Windows, we'll click over here and you can see our download begins. The file size is around 914 MB and it will take some time to complete the download. While it's downloading, let me quickly explain what Anaconda actually is and why it's such a popular choice for Python users. Anaconda is free and open source Python distribution. That means it gives you everything you need to start coding in Python all in one place. It comes with bundles of things. Python is already installed in Anaconda. Then you can have Jupyter Notebook for writing and running code interactively. You can even have spider in it. It's like a beginner friendly Python IDE and you can have over 250 plus popular libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib and Scikit-learn. This makes it a favorite for people working in data science, AI, machine learning, education and research. But here's what makes it more powerful and that is Conda. Conda is built-in package and environment manager. It lets you easily install, update and remove libraries and even create isolated environments for different projects. Let's say you are working on two projects. One needs Python 3.7 with TensorFlow and the another needs Python 3.11 with PyTorch. No problem. Conda handles both with no conflicts. Unlike pip which only installs Python packages, Conda can also manage system level dependencies, makes it more versatile for scientific works. So in short, Anaconda is all in one Python toolkit, whether you are beginner or advanced user. It simplifies setup, avoids compatibility issue and gets you coding faster. So after this much of understanding about Anaconda, I would like to ask you a quick short question for you before we move ahead. The question is this. Which of the following is not included in Anaconda distribution system by default? Python interpreter, Jupyter Notebook, Adobe Photoshop and Spider IDE. So I'll give you a moment. Think and answer this thing in comment section. So I think our downloading is completed, right? So now just double click here. And there we go. Here we have our installation setup. Just click next, agree to all the license agreements, I agree. 
here if you want to install this anaconda for all the users then you can go for this option but as of now i am doing it just for me here it will ask you a destination folder and we are going to keep it as by default so we'll click next so it will create shortcut and if you want to clear the package and cache upon completion then you can click this and then start installation so that's it the setup is completed next next and finish so after this thank you for downloading message just close this thing so once the anaconda installation is completed go ahead and open anaconda navigator go ahead anaconda navigator this is the anaconda navigator app basically anaconda navigator it's a graphical user interface that makes your python journey simple and easier it shows that it is initializing so when it is opening for very first time it will take some time uh, currently we don't want to sign in for AI coding help so we'll close this thing so this is the anaconda navigator setup here inside this navigator you will see four main tabs home environment learning and community this is the home tab this is the default screen that will open when you open the anaconda navigator from here you can open the apps like jupyter notebook here it is spider vs code and many more and all of them you can see over here this also shows whether each app is installed or needs any update now we'll go for the next tab that is environments this tab helps you manage your python environment you can create new environment with different versions of python or different libraries like having separate worksheet for separate projects if you are working on multiple projects then you need different setups and this tab is your best friend in that condition. You can install, remove, update packages right from here for each of the environment. Here, this is our base environment, right? So from here, you can see your multiple environments. And using this tab, you can create new environment. We are not going to explore this thing in detail. We'll see this thing in some another future video in detail. So now we'll jump to the next tab and that is learning tab. This one is especially helpful for the beginners. The learning tab gives you access to tutorials, documentation and video resources. All of this is designed to help you understand each of the element like this. If you read this matplotlib, it will give you more detail about matplotlib. So, all designed to help you understand Python, data science tools and how you use Anaconda effectively. So, if you ever feel stuck, this tab is worth exploring or you can have some solutions from this tab. Now, after this, we have community tab. This connects you to the broader Anaconda ecosystem. Explore this Anaconda and you have directly diverted to this community forum you can ask your questions here and you can read the answers of others questions too just close this thing so you will get everything blog post news events and ways to join anaconda community so basically this place is great for staying updated and discovering how others are using these tools in real world projects right so now let's get back to the home tab and before we jump to the jupyter there is a quick short question for you and the question is this which tab in anaconda navigator helps you manage different python libraries your options are home community environments and learning think and then write the answer into the comment section now once you are done with this let's jump to the next important segment and here we will explore jupyter notebook using just one click just click this launch button and it will pop up a jupyter notebook now here it's asking me so where should i want to open this so now for this time i'm going to do it with microsoft edge And there we go. This is the Jupyter Notebook. Now first let me tell you what exactly this Jupyter Notebook is. It is an interactive coding environment. 
where you can write python code in small blocks called cells and you can run each block independently to see the output right next to that block this makes it perfect for learning experimenting and even doing professional level data analysis now when jupyter notebook is open you will land up on this page and here you can see two main tabs file and running this file is your main workspace it will show all the files and folders in the directory Jupyter is currently using. Here is our desktop and these are the current files on the desktop. So from this file tab, you can open existing notebooks. You can create new notebooks and even you can manage the files just like you do in regular file explorer. The next one is running tab. This tab shows all the notebooks and terminals that are currently active. Here you cannot see anything because we have just installed the Jupyter and we do not have any Jupyter notebook running in background. If something is running in the background, you will find it here. You can stop running notebooks directly from this tab or you can free up the system space using this tab so now let's back to this file tab and let me tell you frankly as a beginner you need only this file tab so after this much of information now let's open the first jupyter notebook let's click here and click on python 3 it will pop up a new window and this is our new jupyter notebook now here just click inside this cell and write your very first code. So we are going to write, hello Mrudaraj. Just press shift enter and there you go. So there it is, your first Python output. Hello Mrudaraj. Now in next video, I'll walk you through everything inside Jupyter Notebook. Each and every tab, its importance, all these important tools in Jupyter, what to set and how to start. Everything about Jupyter Notebook I am going to discuss into the next video. So make sure you stay tuned to this channel for important lessons on Python and Jupyter Notebook. If you find this video helpful, then do not forget to hit the like button and share it with someone who's just started learning Python. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more beginner friendly tutorials. So finally, thanks for watching and see you into the next video.